G'day. Today I want to show you how to play this little bad boy. So hang around and I'll show you how it's done. So if you watched my videos before, you would have heard this lick at the start of All on the Watchtower. I use it as a little, little intro um, to that song. So this is a lick that I use fairly often when I'm playing around in the A minor position, whether I have um, a capo help me out or whether I'm just playing in open A minor. Uh, it's just a lick that I like to do and I like to play. Um, so we'll get into it and go through it. Um, so it is an A minor, so it's your A minor chord. And the lick is using the open position of the A minor scale, which is um, your fifth string open, second fret, third fret, your fourth string open, second fret, third fret, third string open, second fret, and then your second string open, first fret, third fret, and then your first string open, first fret and your third fret. Um, so that is your A minor scale. So you can slide up to the fifth if you want, just to finish it off. Um, so yeah, A minor scale, uh, it's also the sixth mode of the C major scale. So if you're, you can use that same shape over a C chord. Uh, but we're using it in the um, uh, at, over the A minor at the moment. So we've got that one. Uh, and then the next thing we need to talk about is picking techniques. So the way that I pick this is I use a flat pick. Um, I use these 0.71 mil Dunlop gaiters. Um, I've used these for years, so still use them. They're, good picks and I enjoy them, but I also use uh, my fingers as well. So mainly uh, my middle finger. Um, I don't really use these, um, your third and fourth fingers much. It's just normally the pick and the middle finger. Um, so in order to play this lick, you do need both of those uh, fingers, unless you're extremely quick with your flat pick, which I'm not. So I compensate by using my finger as well. Um, so there are plenty of exercises you can do to kind of get your hybrid picking up to scratch. I'm not going to go through these now because there's plenty of videos and plenty of um, stuff on Google about hybrid picking. Um, and that's not, not what this is focused around. So if you haven't done hybrid picking before, I recommend that you probably go and um, do a few exercises on hybrid picking first and then come back to this uh, because it will help you to achieve the, the flowiness of the lick once you get it going. So we'll go through now and we'll learn the lick. Um, I'll do it slowly twice. Uh, first I'll do a close up of my fretting hand uh, and then I'll do a close up of what I'm doing with my picking hand in regards to the hybrid picking. Uh, and I'll have the tab on the screen at the same time so you guys can see what um, I'm actually playing rather than trying to decipher it from my fingers. So thanks for watching and I hope that you uh, get your fingers around that lick and can play along. Um, so yeah, until next time, see you later.